Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel BioVala. Today, in this video lecture, we are talking about differential centrifugation and how cell fractionation is done with the help of differential centrifugation. So, let's start the topic. In a typical cell fractionation, cell or tissue in a solution are gently disrupted. Once a cell or tissue will get disrupted, then this homogenate will get centrifuge at a different speed. The larger and the smaller particle in the suspension can be separated by differential centrifugation at a different speed. Larger particle sediment more rapidly than smaller particle. As you can see in this picture, larger particles are sedimenting more rapidly than the smaller particle. Now, centrifugation. Centrifugation, biological centrifugation is a process that uses centrifugal force to separate and purify mixtures of biological particles in a liquid medium. It is a key technique for isolating and analyzing cells, subcellular fractions, supramolecular complexes and isolated macromolecules such as protein or nucleic acid. Differential centrifugation Differential centrifugation is a very common procedure in biochemistry and cell biology, which is used to separate organelles and other subcellular particles based on their sedimentation rate. The larger and smaller particles in the suspension can be separated by centrifugation at different speed. Larger particles sediment more rapidly than smaller particles. Now, this is the liver and this is the liver tissue. As you can see in this diagram, this liquid portion called as supernatan and this solid portion which is settled at the bottom of this tube called as pellet. Pellet stands for concentrated particle in a tube after successful centrifugation and this liquid which is a supernatant is a remaining solution above the pellet. So here differential centrifugation is taking place for cell fractionation. So, uh, so tissue homogenization is a process in which liver tissue is first mechanically homogenized to break cells and disperse their content into aqueous buffer. As you can see in this diagram, so this is a tissue homogenates and 1000 G, G stands for gravity, this tube will kept for centrifugation at low speed. After 10 minutes, you will get a large particle which is settled at the bottom of the tube whereas small particle will be present above. So this is a pallet and pallet contain whole cell, nuclei, cytoskeleton and plasma membrane. Similarly, at 20,000 G, this tube will kept for centrifugation at medium speed centrifugation for 20 minutes and after 20 minutes you will get a large particle which is settled at bottom and remaining one which is swift and remaining one which is present in the supernatant. So that there is a pallet and after 20,000 G that pallet contain mitochondria, lysosome, peroxism. Similarly at 80,000 G this tube will keep for centrifugation for one hour at high speed. So after one hour, what will you get? After one hour, you will get a pallet and this pallet contain microsomes which is fragments of endoplasmic reticulum and small vesicle. Again, after three hours, once this kept for centrifugation at very high speed, after three hours, you will get uh, ribosomes and large molecules which, it, which is settled at the bottom of this tube 
and this super nut and content soluble protein so what is going here so what is going here you are increasing the speed of centrifugation and you are getting smaller particle so large particle is sedimenting more rapidly as you can see in this diagram in this picture also the large particle is sedimenting more rapidly than small particle in differential centrifugation as we increase the speed we will get a different different organelles at different different g g stand for gravity thanks for watching for more such videos please subscribe to biowala thank you